Hi friends, I am happy that you are here. I made my first cards with the critters in the desert stamp set from Lawn Fawn and I really wanted to share the process with you. Also, there might be a fun surprise later in this video. So I started with a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock that I die cut with a large stitched rectangle from Lawn Fawn and this is 5.5 by 4.25 inches. Then I already die cut the Cactus Hillside border out of algae cardstock from Lawn Fawn. And then I also have a uh, craft piece of paper that I will be die cutting with the other border in that same Cactus border die. So I'm taking that stitched border right here. Now here I did make a mistake that I wanted to address. Um, I wanted that sand, so that craft cardstock, to be in front of all the cacti. And what I should have done is to die cut the craft cardstock first with that stitched border. And then after that I should have die cut the cacti border out of the green cardstock. It would have been way easier to line things up. So don't do what I did here, uh, start with your, simple, with your simple stitched border for the sand and then line your cacti up with that hillside. So this is what it will eventually look like. I started with my background. Um, I made a little loop with my Spellbinders tape and I put it on the back of that Bristol panel and then placed it on my Make Art station. Then I took the first of the cloud background stencils and I placed it on top of my panel. And it really doesn't matter which stencil you use first. Then I took out my Distress Oxides in a squeezed lemonade, spiced marmalade and abandoned coral. And this is a combination that I haven't used before, uh, but I really wanted to use warm colors for this card. And then I started with the red shade on the top of the panel and worked my way through the orange and the yellow. So for now I'm just inking up the clouds in those uh, three particular shades. Then I lined up my second stencil, which is really super easy to do, and I did the exact same thing. So I started with the red clouds on top and worked my way to the bottom of the panel to the yellow. And I didn't bother uh, going all the way to that bottom just because that's where the sand was going to be so it wouldn't be visible either way. After I stenciled on the clouds I took that remaining ink on my blending brush and I blended it on the card panel as well. Again using those same three colors in the exact same uh, order. Um, sometimes I did go into that ink pad again, but I did make sure to pounce it off next to the panel, so not all of that uh, concentrated pigment went straight onto the panel, um, because I did want those clouds to stand out just a bit. Um, I hope that makes sense. So this way I got a nice ink blended panel with those subtle clouds on the background. And since I love an inky look, um, I went in with Rustic Wilderness all over my cacti. And you can see that I took that uh, upper space from the die cut and I temporarily uh, put those cacti back into that space to have just a little bit more control. And it's also way less risky to accidentally tear the paper or something. Then for my sand, I started with the craft card stuck, uh, which is really helpful and it gives you a good base so the ink blending isn't as time consuming. Um, and I put on some tea dye and vintage photo on top and this is definitely uh, my go-to if I want to create sand. Now, because I did find that my cacti looked kind of plain, I decided to splatter on some Copic White paint on top. So I put some Copic White on an acrylic block and I diluted it with some water. 
Um, and then I just splattered it on top of the cacti, the sand and the uh, background. And I thought it would look way more cohesive um, if I did these splatters on every little piece. My sand did need some extra texture, so I splattered on vintage photo here as well. Um, I just smushed on the ink pad on that same acrylic block after uh, cleaning it, of course. Um, diluted it with water once again and then splattered it on the craft uh, border. And for me, this just creates the perfect sand. Time to assemble the scene. I added some liquid glue on the green cactus border and then placed that sand border on top. Then I put those two together on the uh, ink blended uh, background. I used the Gina K Connect glue first, but for my cacti I eventually used liquid glue. I really love these colors and I think these work great with the critters I was going to add. So I used the cute critters in the desert stamp set and I stamped my images with uh, Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink onto Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper using my Misty. And this is really my go-to ink and my go-to paper if I will be doing some Copic coloring. I colored them off camera, but you can find all the Copic combinations in the description box below. Um, I also used some different combinations as I would normally do, like that green of the cacti, but I uh, really did like those colors on the cards. And then it was time to assemble everything. Um, I did a combination of liquid glue and foam squares and this gives dimension um, to the cards as it seems that some things are further away and some things are closer. And I really encourage you to try using uh, foam squares because I find that it adds so much extra to the cards and I'm such a big big fan of dimension. Uh, but you probably already know that. And I also have a fun surprise for you guys, the viewers of this video. You know that I'm a design team member of Cloud9 Crafts, which is the best and the cutest online shop in the Netherlands. And Yuki, the owner of Cloud9, is giving a 10% discount on everyone who uses the code DESERT10 when they are shopping on cloud9crafts.nl. You can see the codes here on screen as well, and I will also link to the shop in the description box below. So when you feel like shopping, now is the time if you want that 10% uh, discount. And the code is valid from June 18th until June 29th. So now that all those cute critters are on the panel, it's time to work on the sentiment. And I chose the You Dessert the Best um, out of that same stamp set. And I stamped it with Versamark ink on black licorice uh, paper. Then I sprinkled on some white embossing powder and after tapping off the excess powder, I heat set it with my heat gun. Then I took one of those sentiment banners and I ran the sentiment through my die cutting machine. I popped up the sentiment with some foam squares and I placed it on my finished card panel. Then I took a white card base and I scored it at five and a half to give me a top folding card. Then I adhered the whole card panel on top of that uh, card base. And this finishes off my card for today. Thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to add that code when you're shopping at Cloud9Crafts. I will be back soon with another video. Bye!